What's up? It's Thursday, uh, February 23rd. There are six days left of the challenges for the month of February, and that gets me really stoked. Um, excuse me if I sound a little sick. i um, just getting over a, a very bad episode. Um, but uh, I'm feeling good, and today is the first day I've been able to get out of my bed and like go about my normal day in a, a little while, so uh, I'm in very good spirits. So I wanted to just kind of propose a question that we've sort of touched on a little bit in our blogs. Um, we've been talking a lot lately about thriving and like what does that mean? What does that look like? And why aren't we doing it more despite the fact that we're succeeding in our challenges and well we should we should be thriving, right? Okay, well yeah it's it's not that easy. And um, I'm kind of figuring out what it means for me to thrive and Despite the fact that, like, yes, I'm a filmmaker, um, I get my jollies by creating cool films and you know showing them and affecting people in a certain way. But it's that last part that really, really gets me psyched is affecting people. And one really cool thing that I like about what we're doing is we are affecting people to some degree. And um, I've been getting a lot of people that are reaching out to me, people I haven't spoken to in, in years even. Um, I'm a junior in college right now and a few times already this month I've heard from people that I haven't seen since um, right before we graduated high school three years ago um, that have said, hey Colin, I checked out what you're doing and I really support what you guys are about and I think it's really cool. And honestly that feels incredible uh, to hear that from someone that I haven't spoken to in a really long time and for, for a project like this to reach out and you know, not only affect them in a certain way for them to sit at their room and go, huh, yeah, that's pretty cool, but to actually reach out to me and vocalize that is just incredible. And uh, I want to see it happen more. And uh, more importantly, I want people to be involved. And, um, you know, I realize that we can't please everyone with what you're, we're doing. I know that what we're doing is a bit of the extreme and we're kind of going out on a limb in terms of what are social norms. And um, dictating our lives based on these challenges and and yes they are extreme to a certain extent but we want to show people that if we're capable of, of living out some of these extremes then you're capable of living out your own version of an extreme or or maybe even a milder version as well um, with some of these challenges um, when we say we want you to get involved we are not saying that we want you to only wear four shirts for an entire month we're not saying that we don't want you to use your car within two miles of your home regardless um, we want you to get involved in pursuing your own path toward living minimally. I think the pacing has to be different for each person. And um, I mean, I think ultimately we started doing this because we wanted to do whatever made us happy. And by stripping down all this excess, all this distraction, we're finally able to see like what it is that makes us thrive, or at least we're beginning to. And we're making a lot of progress despite the fact that yes, it's been rocky and we've been stumbling. Um, but I do believe that we've really exposed ourselves to a pathway toward what does it mean to live out your passions and, and really fulfill what we're here to do as human beings. And the cool thing about it is we just want to show other people that like, look, this is this is what is working for us. You know, all six of us are seeing a, a really great change in ourselves uh, for the better, you know, despite the fact that, like I said, we're stumbling, but we're getting there. You know, we can see the progress and we, see, we can see ahead of us that it's going to get better and we're really solving this. And um, we just want to share what we're doing and we want everyone around us to experience what we're going through because if it's been such a positive change for us, we know it's going to be a positive change for you. Um, but you have to be proactive in making a step. However big or small you decide you're ready for, uh, you know, you have to believe in it as well. You can't just take out a bunch of clothing from your wardrobe just because we tell you it's a good idea. You know, you have to believe in the understanding behind it and, um, and really kind of take it on for your own personal benefit, not because we think it'd be cool to see you do it. Um, so I would, I would greatly encourage you to ask yourself, when you're looking at these blog posts, when you're watching our videos and watching me preach about, you know, how, how much personal growth I'm going through, you know, consider what parts of what we're doing can be applied to your life. And if there are some things that you can do, what's holding you back? What's to stop you from doing it? Yes, a month sounds like a really long time, and it's scary. Um, and I, I will admit that, you know, it is a scary thing because it, what it does is it allow it, it's an exposure of yourself to yourself, which sounds kind of weird, but you look at yourself at a deeper level, and uh, you really start to uncover some things that you haven't seen in a very long time, if if not at all. Um, so yes, that's a scary thing, but I think confronting those things 
those fears, those inner thoughts that you haven't seen in a long time um, is a really healthy thing if, if you're trying to overcome inhibitions or things that are standing in your way of doing what you love. So um, really strongly consider that question, what's holding you back? Write it out if you have to. You know, If you think that you're not prepared, why aren't you prepared? What do you need to do to overcome that? Um, but February is just about to end. If you want to try a short challenge, you've got six days, like Ryan said in his, his video blog yesterday, you've got six days, um, just under a week, to try something new. If it doesn't work out for you, that's okay. You know, Go about the rest of your life, uh, or you know, continue about your life the way you have been, and whatever isn't making you comfortable, but um, don't get complacent. I think there's a difference between comfortable and complacency. So. Um, just really think about it, and I'd encourage you to try something of your own, whether it's the last six days of February or at the start of March. Um, but I think you'll, you'll be surprised at what it can do for you.